Where did Pacific Palisades begin? Many people aren't aware of the history at all. Today we're going to take a brief look at the alphabet streets, where it all started, when, and why. I'm Michael Edlin, your Palisades expert. Happy to share real estate information anytime. Check on the box below if you'd like to subscribe. The Palisades actually had its beginnings in 1921. Methodist Episcopal Church is what founded the Palisades with the idea in mind that the moderate climate, year-round beautiful weather and scenic views would appeal to as many as 20,000 people ultimately. And so it began. They laid out the first part of the Palisades in the usual fashion of grid, laid out square streets with properties that ranged mostly from 5,200 to 7,300 square feet. The homes of the era were fairly small, the lots didn't need to be large, and the streets were compact and narrow. We call that area the Palisades Alphabet Streets today. The area began from Sunset, which in that time was known as Beverly, all the way up to Bester, and from Via de la Paz to Chautauqua. The streets were named in alphabetical sequence. They used the names of Christian leaders, mostly church heads, from the 19th and 20th centuries. K for Kagawa was named after the leading Christian church leader at the time in Japan. He actually did visit the Palisades in the early 1930s. Ironically, he would not have been able to have owned a home on that section because of deed restrictions in that era. The original idea was that it would be for the people of modest means. And that's why so many of the homes were so small on the smaller lots. With the smaller homes, there were about a hundred of them completed by the mid-1920s. Today there are more than 880 homes in that area. Long considered the starter home area of the Palisades, in recent years it's really moved into a different world. What used to be bungalows under a thousand square feet now are typically two level homes, in some cases three level homes. Those homes that were starter for people of low means well, now on those same lots are homes selling for several million dollars, including in 2020. So far there have been two over seven million dollars. As a matter of fact, investors are very pleased to pay two to three million dollars to tear down the house so they can build a new home. The appeal has to do with the proximity to the village. The schools, the park, the library, the restaurants, shops, quite a change over the years, that's for sure. And all that's because it's such a desirable area. We hope this has been a good learning experience and take with it something you didn't know before. If you'd like further information like it or other areas of the Palisades, please subscribe, hit the button below, contact us if you have any further information you'd like to have directly, be glad to provide it. Thank you for visiting with us on this little, oh, start that over. If you'd like more information though in between or about the Palisades, click on the numbers below. Nope, we're gonna do that all over again.